Hey guys, what is up? Kevin here, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about some stuff and some updates. Number one, why wasn't there a video yesterday? There wasn't a video yesterday because I had a lot of stuff to do. Um, I had to go to this RV show because we had to go check out some RVs because we're going to buy one. Which is cool, and I'm going to be making a lot of um, vlogs because we're going to be going cross, cross country this summer. And that's very exciting, and I can't wait for that. Because I get car sick, but whatever. Um, but particularly, all right. So <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm about to say something to you guys that's going to get you mad, and I know exactly why it's gonna get you mad. But here we go. Yesterday, while I was there. In their parking lot, I shot test footage for the brand new Shady O'Malley reboot. And I know, I know, you guys are like, oh, what the fuck, man? Like, th this is literally the third test footage that you, that you made. It, what? Like, what? What? I, I, I get it. I honestly do. You guys don't want test footage anymore. You want the actual thing. And I respect that. But do not worry, this test footage isn't going to be released as an excuse for to, to get a video out. That is not the case. What we are doing is that I shot test footage particularly about almost two minutes long. And what this is meant to do is, this is, this is not to be released to you guys. This is test footage for the crew. Uh, for casting crew of the project. To get people interested in what we have to offer. Now I just I'm almost done editing it and I'm probably not going to release it because uh, if I had to pick two minutes of all the thing I had planned I picked the one the two particular minutes that are heavily spoilers for you guys and heavily spoilers it's basically the origin of everything because the way you guys know it is that Shady O'Malley uh, or Shade Striker Lawrence. Uh, decided to get, um, found a kid, gave it back to his dad. That was the only reason why he wasn't able to do an alien invasion. Shady O'Malley throws tear gas at him. He goes blind for a while, um, as you saw in the test footage. And, <laughs> and then, like, after that, uh, after that, he, uh, after that, he ships himself in a backpack back to Bayonne, which is here. Then he, you saw like the delivery man, then you saw Shay, and um, then you saw Dosky, and then you saw like Carson opening up the bag, and then I punch him in the face and Carter, ah, uh, my forehead, Carter, I, really, I have, I saved this child, and now there's an alien invasion, and now I'm too young to die. A seizure. <laughs> that was from the original one. And then, like, Dosky goes after these guys because he feels like, for some whatever reason, he's a threat. Now, just the way I explained it to you, I guarantee you right now that that was the most stupidest idea I have ever done. Sometimes I make films that are actually on purposely bad. For the sake of having a career where it's some bad, some good, because I'm not perfect. Nobody is. But, however, however, the way I am making this new Shady O'Malley reboot is smarter. It's smarter. I'm just going to put it like that. Some characters, uh, particularly Shady O'Malley, will not stay true to the source material. It's not like we're just gonna rename it Shady O'Malley and we're gonna do the same exact thing that we did for Project Task Bar 1 because that is his origin. That's how the whole story started. No, this is a completely different thing. It's having the characters in a different setting making them feel some people that you should take seriously. And some people that feel relatable to some. Like, I, I cannot give away anything. But... I guess I can tell you guys this. Uh, 
we are particularly focusing on redoing Shady O'Malley. Like, just from the character's perspective, him, he is a billionaire. He owns this company called Exodus Entertainment. Um, that produces technology. He's absorbed with superpowers and he's going out fighting crime because he faced, because he was a spoiled kid. He wanted to be a superhero because he, um, because that's always what he wanted to do. But then he realized the fate of responsibility, which then he had to take upon himself saying, oh shit, this is not actually what I signed up for. I just thought I'd just beat up criminals. Um, do I? No. No, that that is not the case at all. Uh, we are completely re-scrapping the character, like, uh, because, like, for, for well, we already have a millionaire in the cinematic universe, and that is Isaac Freeze. He is a millionaire. He owns Freezing Entertainment. Uh, for, for short, Shady O'Malley will not be a billionaire in this reboot. In fact, he's not even going to be a middle class. He's actually kind of poor. Another thing that we are focusing on is his name. Because, honestly... How do you not suspect Shady O'Malley is this guy named Shay, um, Shade Striker Lawrence? It makes no sense. Like, Shade Striker Lawrence. Shade e -mo oh, Shady O'Malley. So we decided to re-scrap that entirely. We're not, um, as of right now, I don't know whether we're going to keep Shady O'Malley's name or not. The only change we did is that we... Re spelled his last name Miley and actually spelled it right Miley. However, Shady is still misspelled. Um, I don't know if I want to change that. It's just for the sake of looking better. Because to, um, t for me, um, sh Shady looks cooler than Shady. But what we are doing is uh, we're completely renaming him. Uh, I again, he may still be called Shady O'Malley, he may not, but here is what we were naming him. We decided to rename him Shay, Shay, not Shady, not Shade, Shay, you know, like, Shay Carl, Shay Lavender, Shay Lavender, that's his new name. I don't know one thing, like, I don't know if his middle name is still Stryker. I, I would really rather it not, because, like, <laughs> it shouldn't. But it, but here's some ideas. It's going to be Shea Lavender. It may be Shea Lavender Lawrence. It may be uh, just Shea Lawrence. It may be Shea... It may be Shea Lawrence. I don't know. We are still working out that. But I really hope it works. Uh, he is not going to be a billionaire like I said before. In fact, what he is going to be is... He's going to be... Uh, 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 he still works for Exius Entertainment, but not as the boss. Like... What he is, is actually, he works there, and uh, you guys are automatically going to suspect, oh, he's a scientist, because, well, that's what it is. It's a weapons company. It has to be. So he can get his weapons. No, he's not. Oh, well, he must be somewhere in, like, in charge as an authority. He's not. What he is, is he's a... He's a janitor over there. Like, he's nothing big. He is just a janitor that works there. He's not incredibly intelligent to the point where 
he can make his own technology. He's not like that guy with potential that could work there. No, he's just your average guy that just happens to be down in life. Got out of college, now's a janitor. He's just the regular normal guy. Uh... Oh, and uh, oh, one last thing that's going to probably throw you out of this video right now. Uh, he is going to rely more on practical weapons. Um, he is no longer a metahuman. He's no longer with superpowers, for sure. He does not have superpowers.